Welcome back to the channel guys. I have a bit of an exciting one for me today. I have the first look at my new 210 racing quad. Full disclosure before we start out, this was sent to me by GearBest.com. I handpicked this because I think it would fit well on the channel as well as I think it'll fit well with me. Uh, I picked the radio as well. Both will be linked in the description below. So everything comes just sort of packaged in the bag you saw and once you get everything out we have a bunch of pretty high quality parts I think. Let's get some out. First up I think we'll take a look at the frame itself. Uh, as usual everything comes in this mylar packaging which is a little bit funny that it's like ESD packaging but yeah it makes things look good. So first impressions. This frame is beefy and really well cut out. I'm not feeling any burrs or anything. Uh, There's a one piece lower frame, uh, quite thick. They boast that this is to be three millimeter carbon. It does actually feel thicker than three mil. I don't have my vernier handy. I'll post an annotation if I want to get a measurement on this. Our top plate is a little bit thinner, as to be expected. A uh, place for the antenna to stick out. This plate is a little rougher cut, but not too bad. Camera mount and hardware. So long and the short of it, the standoffs will sit between and our frame will sit something like this and we should be all set. Here we have the ESCs. Go ahead and get one out of here. These are supposed to be a 30 amp BL Heli one shot two to six cell ESC and I believe they look like the standard that I've seen all over really nice uh, silicone style wires you'll note no BEC output because we're going to use the PDB the power distribution board for that really nice looking really nice feeling uh, ESCs the terminals are insulated uh, sometimes I see this uh, heat shrink not cover them all the way so they look really really good and I'm impressed I think we'll have no problems along the lines of power these are the Emax motors it comes with just the casing on these and the packaging just screams quality right off the hop these are the Emax red bottoms RS 2205 2200 kV motor made in China really good looking quality uh, feel great I don't anticipate any issues uh, come with the hardware uh, I think we should be all set really good looking little motors these things have a, a tried and true track record I think they'll just work fantastic uh, lovely packaging though I really like when people take the time to make a really high quality packaging. Yeah, it may bump the price up a little bit, but makes you feel good when you buy it. Little attentions to detail. Here's the Allen key and it comes with a ball end on it. It's not your average piece of junk Allen key. And actually I can tell just by the finish and the feel of this, that this is probably a quality tool actually. Uh, really impressive stuff. Just it's the little things. Comes with some bullnose props, nothing crazy to see here, 5045s. Here's our power distribution board, mini power hub with BEC 5 volt and 12 volt. Really good looking little distribution board. Uh, I expected this uh, mini power hub, silk screened on the back. Good looking stuff, nice gold pads. I don't foresee any problems here. If it works out of the box, we should be all set. We'll find out when it comes time to assemble this. Then we have the F3 Acro Flight Controller. There's the board. This should be the SP F3 or SP3 board. Uh, pretty standard flight controller now in some of these higher performance quads. This is uh, quite a step up from the CC3Ds that you often see these quads come with. It does come with a nice case that you can choose to use or not. I'm not sure whether our build will use it. I tend to doubt it, but uh, it's labeled Clean Flight SP Racing F3 Acro. Uh, we'll be flashing this with Beta Flight for sure. Probably the 291 we're gonna start right off the hop with and hopefully we have some good luck. This is gonna be a fun quad. 
So that's the, the general overview of the quad. I think this is a fantastic kit. I see no reason we're going to have any difficulties. I think for the price, it's going to be fantastic. Radio we're going to use with it. I picked out the FSI6. This is an extremely price conscious radio that we're going to be able to upgrade with some fresh firmware to take this from a six channel to a 10. Comes in standard packaging, nothing crazy here. Comes with a CD, which I'm guessing might have some firmware type stuff on it. There are lots of reviews of this radio online. We won't go into crazy in depth. We'll show more when we get this thing up and going, but the cliff notes are, this is very thin, very light radio. Uh, it feels great in the hands. It's got a nice large LCD display. Uh, the gimbals are really smooth, really light action, no spring to remove, no centering on the throttle. Thank you for not having that. Saves me some time. All the switches we need that we can reprogram for our flight modes and for our arming and a couple rotaries at the top, which I don't know that I will ever use. Uh, this one is the one that still has trim switches on it. Hopefully we don't need those. And batteries. Takes four double A's. Pretty standard. Uh, what we will end up doing, we'll flash the firmware to the updated version, and then I'll probably add a uh, buck converter uh, in here and we'll run this off of LiPos because I just detest AA batteries. I just can't stand using them when I've got LiPo packs. So we'll go ahead and do the mod which I did previously on my Hubson. There's a video on my channel. I'll post a link right up there and you can check it out, but the process will be the same. Really easy mod, and then we can use any three cell LiPo pack on here, or even four cell if we want. One caveat, the radio receiver that it comes with is the FSIA6 six channel receiver. This is a quite capable little receiver. It would work just fine if we wanted to use PWM, but this one is not PPM capable from what I understand. So I went ahead and got something else. I went ahead and got these just off of Amazon. This is the FSIA6B. This is a fully PPM capable as well as SBUS receiver. We're gonna use these instead. Uh, it'll work a little bit better. We don't have to run so many wires. And I, we might decase this as well because we don't need all these connections. We're only gonna need a PPM signal going into it. We'll get this mounted up in the quad as well. Should be a great little receiver. I got two of them and we'll be all set for all of our quads. Well guys, that is the new GB210 from GearBest.com. The links are posted below. I can't wait to get this thing in the air. I'm going to start building it this afternoon and get some of this assembled and hopefully tuned this week. Make sure you throw a comment down below. Let me know how you found this video and if you're interested in quads or what kind of quads you're working on. Cheers guys.